Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we are looking at about 45 mix of sun. Uh, no, I'm sorry, mostly sunny, not mix of sun and clouds. Mostly, mostly sunny. Mostly sunny today? Yeah, and about 45, and we'll take it. Okay, Good stuff. Not bad. Yeah, I can't believe it's Thursday already. The week did go by pretty quickly, I have to say. Every week flies by. Not every week, but yeah, time is flying. There's no question about it. I mean, we're done with March. Yes. Saturday's uh, April 1st. We're done. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Um, uh, another reminder, we're going to tell you throughout the weeks and months here, um, a couple of special things going on. May 2nd. Uh, we just announced a free show, and there's a lot of details. All of them are on our socials or online. Um, we are having Jackson Dean, the great country star, with a couple other artists from our other stations. And Ario Speedwagon Tribute Band, they're called Speedwagon, the Ario Experience. Uh, Seabank, a great dance act with our uh, dance station. And um, we're just going to have like a kind of a summer grand opening, Tuesday, May 2nd. Come one, come all. It's only $10 per carload to park. You don't need a ticket. You sit or stand wherever you want. We'll have food trucks on site. We'll have beverages for sale. And we just want everyone to come in and enjoy the beginning of summer. Uh, that is May 2nd. Go check out our socials. And then Jimmy Allen, the big 12th annual fest on July 3rd. There is now a special select seats, limited time, $12 for our 12th anniversary. Wow. And yeah, there's a bunch of deals around the venue for July 3rd. Make sure you check it out for our 12th annual fest. Uh, Going to be a great day. Now, you do know, Candy, today baseball season officially begins. It does. Let's go Mets. I mean, uh, let's go Yankees. That's right. Uh, we In this house, it's let's go Yankees. But uh, for our Long Island uh, constituents, Candy, it is uh, Mets and Yankees, of course. We well, gotta... I was a big Mets fan growing up. I uh, yeah. loved the Mets and then got married to a Yankee fan. So uh, that was nipped in the bud. But I, I'll always have a special place for the Mets in my heart. Well, it's funny you say that. I'll always have a special place for the Mets as well because my father uh, took me to a couple of Met games, including Game 2 of the 1986 World Series. And I still have the ticket stub, and that ticket stub is in a book, and it is signed by Gary Carter, Bud Harrelson, and oh, Ron Darling. Love those three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. It's one of my prized possessions. We sat it in the... Be. We were in the upper deck. I think the tickets were like $25 each. And um, by the way, it was supposed to be the best game of the series because it was Roger Clemens versus Dwight Gooden. And it ended up being a disaster for the Mets. I think the Red Sox won 9-3. to three. Yeah, it was really... And then Roger Clemens had the nerve to come to New York. <laughs> yes, he came Gary. over, over to the dark side. Um, mm. so, so baseball starting today. All right, let, yeah. let's get into this. Yankees one o'clock home against the Giants. Uh, the Mets on the road four o'clock against the Marlins. Um, they did a study. They said the and by the way, this is why I have not been to a major league game with my kids yet. The average baseball fan, once they're in the ballpark, food, drink. Uh, parking, merch, all that stuff, the average one person will spend an extra $51 once in the ballpark. So family of five candy, it's yeah, 250 I haven't well, even paid you for and a Elijah ticket. Elijah should just go. You know, no, I'd, like a father-son. What do you mean, no? Be, but, well, here's the thing. He's not even into baseball. So I would want to make the experience for the whole family. I think Leah, Abigail, even Dana would, would enjoy it. So I think we should all go. You know, you want to get a decent seat. So you're in now for what seven eight hundred dollars for the five of us for a decent seat, and then the the food you're over a easily with parking and everything you're over a grand for the day to go see a baseball game. I eh, eh, I I don't know. I was lucky enough when I was working on Jam and One Hundred Five with the Jay Thomas show. He got tickets to the World Series, and it was the Mets and the Yankees, and um, we went. To Shea Stadium. Do they still call it that? Uh, and, no, um, no, no, they don't. But no, okay, no. go ahead. <laughs> um, we had a suite. We had great seats. If you didn't want to stay in the suite, 
Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Yes. Nothing wrong with the sweet. to the Yankees. No. Terrible. You've got to love the sweet, Candy. It's, uh, oh, let yeah. me tell you. Nothing, doesn't matter. Nothing better than the sweet. The outcome of the game? No. Really who cares? <laughs> who cares? It has right. to be another brownie. Uh, they did a recent survey. 47% of people said they're planning on going to a game this season. 58% said they'd prefer to watch at home. Um, 35% of people said they will be going to fewer games or no games at all because of the price and the economy. See, I'm not alone, Candy. No, you're not alone. But you know what's fun? What? The local baseball. Yes, we um, go to the Ducks. We go to the Ducks. Right. So, yep. We used mm-hmm. to go all the time. Uh, yep. You know, the kids, we would go. They always had family things going on. It was che- much, much cheaper and a really nice day out. As a matter of fact, coming up in May, I forget the date, uh, my kids' district, uh, the whole district, elementary to high school, they're all performing. The band is performing. Oh. Yeah, on the field. So, uh, yeah, that'll be coming up. We're going to do that in May. Yeah, great value at the Ducks for sure. So much fun. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so baseball season starts today. Uh, 15% of people say they're very interested in the season. Uh, 42% just interested and 43%. Yeah, they don't care at all. It's a long Uh season. I will tell you. It is a long season. Yeah. Uh, Candy, got to tell you this story. We're, we're going to move into a different avenue now. Got to tell you this story about this principal. I teased it for you a little while ago. Uh, This principal who got fired, Dr. Jan McGee, was the principal of a charter school in Florida and forced to resign after falling for an online scam. Listen to this. The principal, a doctor, Dr. Jan, had been talking to what they thought. By the way, I don't know if it's a male or a female Jan. It could be either. Um, It could. They thought they were they were talking to uh, was that a cough or a sneeze? Yes, I could... it was a little cough. OK, because uh, I want to say bless you if you sneezed, you know, you could bless uh, me anyway. You're, you're blessed. Uh, Candy, Jan had been talking to what they thought was Elon Musk for four months online <laughs> chatting on. <laughs> he this doesn't is... even talk to his own employees. <laughs> <laughs> this It's very good. <laughs> Ring the bell. Good joke. Ring oh, the bell. Oh, that's hysterical. This is the principal of a school. Um, oh, it's a woman. Okay. She mentioned the conversations to her staff, and the staff was skeptical. Over four months, you're talking to Elon Musk. Don't believe it. But Jan believed in the fake Elon. And so when he asked her to send $100,000 to invest in the school. If you send me 100000 I will get you a return and you will make all sorts of money for your school. Jan, the principal, sent the no. funds. No, stop yeah. it. Yes. And she's now, supposed to be very educated. A doctor and a principal, yes. Oh. Uh, fortunately, the school's business manager got wind of the payment in time and stopped the check before it cleared. Wow. Um, and then she was uh, forced to uh, resign or got fired. And, and yeah. You know, maybe you need a little therapy, honey. That is something. Uh, That's talk, crazy. Yes. Do you think Elon Musk really, in all of your brain, would really ask you for a... Do you think he needs $100,000? It's, it's bizarre. The whole thing is crazy. Can't believe. I still can't believe people fall for stuff like that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, but uh, gone. Gone from the school. Well, good. good. Go get your head examined now. That's right. Uh, Candy, coming up less than 20 minutes. We've got your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We're going to be about 45 degrees or so. Uh, sunny, decent day. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.